Hello my dear friends, welcome to learn SAP FICO. Friends, today we will continue this tedious configuration part 4. In a previous video, we have completed till check recipient types. So now next step is maintain text due dates. What is text due dates? In this step, we maintain the tedious due date as per Income Tax Act. The 7th of every next month. In case of the 7th date, we need to maintain like 777 as a due date as per the SAP recommendation. If your tedious due date is different from this 7th of every next month, so you can give only your date like 5th or every next month or any date as per your tedious due date. Or as per the SAP recommendation, if your next due date is 7th of every next month, so you have to maintain like a 777. Now go to SAP and maintain text due date. This is the path. Run the T code, SPRO. SAP reference IMG. Financial Accounting New, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Withholding Tax, Extended Withholding Tax, Basic Settings, India, here this fourth one, Maintain Tax Due Dates, click on this execution, then we have to maintain a Tax Due Date. Click on new entry, give your country code, IN for India, official key, like official key means your income tax section. We are maintaining for 194C, give your recipient type which we have created in a previous videos, that is CEO for company. If you didn't watch my previous video of TDS configuration, first go and watch the previous TDS configuration videos then you can better understand here you have to maintain the tax due date for for example my tax due date is 7th so i have to maintain like 777 as per sap recommendation if your tax due date is another so you can maintain like only 5th or any tax due date as per your tedious so, my tax due date is 7th of every next month. So, I am maintaining like 777. And for a next official key is 194C again. And here the recipient type is for OT. OT means other than company and CO means company for a company. Again, 777. Then click on save. So, friends, like this you have to define a Tax due date. Next step is define withholding tax codes. What is withholding tax code? Friends, withholding tax code carries the rate of TDS. It carries the rate of TDS. How much percent rate of the TDS? So, so if we have multiple rates for a CEO or other than companies, for a company or other than companies and without pen holders, so, we have to maintain the TDS rate for separately. Now, this is the path to maintain the withholding tax codes. Go to SAP. SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, Financial Accounting New, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Withholding Tax, Extended Withholding Tax, Calculations, here define tax codes, Withholding Tax Codes. First one, define withholding tax codes. 
गिव योर कंट्री कोड आई एन फॉर इंडिया वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दिस न्यू एंट्री गिव यू विद होल्डिंग टेक्स टाइप विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो आई सी फॉर वन नाइंटी फोर सी हेयर यू हैव टू मेंटेन द इनकम टैक्स सेक्शन और यू कैन से ऑफिशियल की वन नाइंटी फोर सी हेयर वी हैव टू डिफाइन दिस विद होल्डिंग टेक्स कोड टेक्स कोड की आई एम मेंटेनिंग द सेम सो दैट इजी टू रिमेंबर Give the description here, like one ninety four C, two percent TDS on invoice posting for a company. Here give a percentage base amount that is hundred percent. Give post indication like one for standard. Here we have to maintain the tax rate that I have maintained here also in a description. Give two percent rate. Then click on save. it has already exists so friends you have to maintain the similar manner similarly we will create a text code for next with holding text type that is pc for payment postings give with holding text code pc official key means your income tax section give a description for a payment postings for a company to 100% one for a standard one you can see the list also by pressing f4 key this is one for standard postings like bank vendor or customer line item reduced double click on it here Give a percent rate that is two. Then save. Print similarly. You have to maintain the withholding tax codes for all the withholding tax types. Clear. Now go back to the presentation. Next step is assign withholding tax types to a company code. In this system, we have to assign all the withholding textiles with a company code. Now, this is your path. Go to SPRO. SAP Reference IMG. Financial Accounting New, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Withholding Tax, Extended Withholding Tax. Here, third one, Company Code. Here, first one, Assign Withholding Tax Types to a Company Code. Click on New Entries. Give your Company Code. That is Tata. Give your withholding tax type like I C. Here you must click on this withholding tax agent. Now we have to maintain the validity period like first of June to thirty first of December two thousand ninety nine or end of the year. Then click on save. In the same way, we have to maintain for next withholding tax type. It already exists with the same key. You can check it here. Come, give your company code. Here you can see I C is already exists. I am showing you the method how to create it. Give your company code, Tata. Then next withholding tax type is PC. Click on this withholding tax agent. Give validity period. First of June, two thousand twenty-two. Thirty-first of December, two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. 
then click on save so friends like this you can maintain withholding sorry like this you can assign the withholding text types to a company code now get back Here you can see, give your company code, you can see this withholding text type is assigned with your company code. So like this you can assign all the withholding text type with your company code. Next step is activate extended withholding text. It is used to activate the extended withholding text type fields on your vendor master data when you post the transaction at the time of master data creation you can get the fields activated if you activate extended withholding text key will be maintaining so this is the part to activate withholding text in this step we may activate the withholding text functionality for a company code by activating this functionality some extended withholding text related tables fields get activated in master data at the transactional data level here you can see the next one just next to this activate extended withholding text click on it give your company code click on this position give your company code then click on this activate withholding text just click on it then click on save here is a caution you are activating the extended withholding text functions continue yes continue data was saved like this you can activate your extended withholding text so friends today we have completed till activated extended withholding text now do practice in the next video we will continue this tedious configurations if you like it please subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you have a nice day goodbye